Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Janice and today we're going to be cleaning little Madison's room. She's three years old and uh, Christmas came, her birthday came and it just was not in her favor. So the first thing we're going to do is go downstairs and grab everything I need to clean this hot mess. I need my vacuum. I need my, um, I, I need Jesus. I really do need Jesus to come down and save me. So the first thing we're gonna tackle is her dresser. And I usually like to start somewhere where it seemed like I'm going to be successful. Like I can't tackle the full on mess, but I want something where I'm just like, I'm not gonna quit. I'm gonna keep going because with me, I get frustrated really quick and it's easy for me to be like, okay, whatever. And I just close the door and go on about my business. So I had to start somewhere where I could see success right away. If any one of you are like that, comment down below and let me know because for me, it takes a lot. It takes a lot of talking to myself, you know, to get through cleaning my children's room or any kind of mess there is. It's it's hard it's hard being a parent it's hard cleaning the house it's hard being a housewife it's just hard in general and uh, i don't like christmas i don't like little toys and every single year my family tends to buy madison a bunch of little tiny toys and i'm stuck cleaning it up so i it, it was overwhelming <laughs> just looking at this footage right now and seeing everything that I have accomplished in this room makes me realize that I did a good job. And I took, it's, I spent six hours cleaning this room, six hours. So what I did was I took all the main stuff out of the room, like the big stuff, stuff that was were in bins and stuff like that. Just I just took it out the room. I just needed, I, I just needed everything out of there. And in her closet, she had her jujube bags and I've been holding on to those for a very, very long time because she's my last child and um, we're done having children. So it's time to get rid of all the baby stuff, but it's hard. It's hard to say goodbye to a phase in my life that is no more. There's no more babies coming out of my body and it's just bittersweet. So I'm piling up all the stuff that needs to go for donation. And don't mind if you hear my other kids in the um, background. I'm a mother of five children, so it, I, there's not going to be any perfection here. So just if you're here for me, you're here for me. If you're not, then bye. Um, so I had to clear all of that out. Then I had to tackle the bed. It's just like, when I tell my kids to do chores and if there's anything downstairs that they don't know where it goes, they throw it in her room and everything gets tossed in here and it's just like oh my god so it's good for everything to have a space and everything to be in its place meaning that everything needs to have a home that way when it's time to clean up you know where to put stuff so um moving into this house and we moved in this house almost um, about a year and a half ago and we're still adjusting. We're still trying to find space for everything and oh man, oh man, it's the, the, looking at this now I realize that Jesus, why? This is why I don't buy my children things because it's just too much. And then being a mother of teenager, a mother of young children, a mother of toddler, it's so many different phases that I am in. I'm mothering so many different stages and I thought I was over the toy stage because for a long time I was very depressed as a young mom because I was overwhelmed with all the stuff that came into our home and I thought I was past that but one thing I know is that I've come a long way and I'm able to sit here today and sort through little tiny 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 little toys and not be frustrated and know that there's an end in sight because I've done this I've done this with my teenagers and they're now into technology so I can now do it with my three-year-old toddler and know that I will be okay at the end of the day this will all be done and I will be okay and I just have to stay on top of her for her to keep her room clean 
and just stay on top of the older kids when they clean up her stuff downstairs that they put it back in the space where it belonged where I have assigned so now I'm just trying to figure out where I'm gonna put all the new toys that came in and a lot of stuff out in the hallway are going for donation there was a lot of baby stuff in her room that I didn't get a chance to clear out before all the new stuff came in so it was just a hot 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 mess so <laughs> Uh, oh man, uh, it's a struggle. I understand your struggle. Please comment down below if you are struggling right now with a toddler and your stuff. Like it's so much stuff that comes along with a toddler. Like why? Oh my gosh. Mm, 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 mm. So many tiny little pieces. Like why? Why? But anywho it's a phase and trust me when that stage of their life is over you will miss it so enjoy every second of it every second of it you need to enjoy because when it's over you will miss it well i'm speaking from myself but i will miss this stage once she go you know grows up and <sighs> goes into other things but for right now i'm just overwhelmed six hours six long hours and for you guys it's 11 minutes but for me it was six hours of my life that I will never get back but at the end of the day she has a really clean organized space right now where she can come in and she know where every single thing is and this is why I you know really like to have only a couple toys like a Barbie American Girl doll and something else because when it's time to organize it's just a few stuff right now she had a lot of tiny little things and it didn't have a home so for me it was you know organizing in bins and the way I do it is that I get bins and I organize so I put everything that are alike in one bin and then donation in one bin, trash in the trash bin, and then miscellaneous toy in one bin. And then I'll go through every bin and organize whether or not this is going to stay in this bin or needs to find a new home. So that's how I organize when I organize. So <laughs> it's so tedious, but I'm going to let you guys enjoy this little portion of the video and then I'll come back with you guys.
Okay, guys, so it's my favorite part of this whole thing is putting the room back together and putting everything in its place. I enlisted a bunch of the kids, a bunch of the kids. I enlisted all the kids at the very end to help me put things back where they belong, and it went a little faster. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in this clean with me video hope you guys enjoy comment down below what's your favorite part of this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next one bye guys